Hi, I'm Steve with Tronix Fix, and today I'm going to be taking a look at the PS4 CUH1200A. It's Sony's newest version. They have two other versions that came before this that each had minor changes. Uh, this version, however, has a lot of um, significant changes in my opinion. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the things they changed and see if it looks like this one will be a little more reliable. Okay, so we've gotten the console mostly turn, torn apart. We've got the front cover plastic covers off and the bottom plastic cover as well as the metal sheet that goes over the top. We've gotten that all taken apart. Um, we've also pulled out the hard drive, which you can see, or not the hard drive, the power supply, which you can see here. It looks like it has been designed a little bit differently, but overall the internals look about the same. So I imagine it's gonna be approximately the same as uh, the other power supplies. And since I mentioned the hard drive, we can go ahead and take a look at that one here. Here's the hard drive. Um, same basic configuration. It's a little bit different. The enclosure is a little bit different, but uh, this does have a 500, gig 500 gigabyte hard drive. I expect soon they're gonna be upgrading all these to one terabyte, I hope, but um, you may wanna check that if you go and buy one sometime soon. So here we have the new APU clamp assembly right here. These two screws come out and then there's also a spacer down here that's gotta come out. And then we'll get to that, the APU itself. So we're gonna go ahead and just take these out real quick. Okay. There's the clamp assembly, and then the spacer just pops off like this. There we go, spacer. And then we're gonna pull this off. This is for the fan, the fan connector. And then also this connector goes down to the optical drive. After that, this will lift up like that. And then you just pull it out. And you can see one of the main things I first notice is there's no RAM chips on the, f the top side like the other two models. They are all on this bottom side and it looks like they have, each RAM has twice the capacity but there's a half of the total number of RAM chips. So I don't know whether that's gonna be a good thing or bad, but hopefully good. Now we're gonna take this uh, ground shield off of the HDMI port and now you'll be able to see this HDMI port right here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and zoom this in for you so you can get a better view of it. Okay, now we've got a better view right there of the HDMI port. And you can see the back of it has plastic, it's solid plastic. And so that is actually a large upgrade, upgrade from the old, old style ports that they used. They weren't a solid back, so that made it easier for the pins to push right out. So um, that's a large upgrade that I expect to really help the reliability of these things. And then on the inside of the port, we're gonna zoom in right here on it. You can hopefully see that the pins themselves have been built into the plastic, and so those are actually gonna work a lot better than the old style. And it looks like there's a little bit of a zoom for you. So you can see that a little bit. So overall, um, I like the changes they've made to this. Let me zoom the camera back out for you. I like some of the changes they made to this. Hopefully it's gonna be more reliable, especially the HDMI port and um, like I said, I don't know about the RAM chips. Hopefully those will be more reliable as well and it'll be a better fit overall. You gotta get that thermal pad on there. There we go. And then one other thing I wanna show you real quick is the optical drive. The optical drive it looks a little bit different, but overall it's pretty much the same inside. We have disassembled this one and taken a look inside, and you can see that on our teardown on iFixit if you wanna see more of that. But 
overall that's what it looks like and it's pretty close to the same there's a few things different internally but it's pretty close to the same as the old style so I expect these are gonna have some problems uh, just like the old ones and I don't know that there's gonna be any much of a difference in their reliability one thing I want to mention as well right here we have the actual physical button instead of the old style button that Sony used for these. So theoretically, that's going to make it so you don't get the discs randomly ejecting and stuff like that. Sony had a lot of problems with those. So hopefully that's gonna um, make it so that works a lot better. I think those are the main changes um, that I see in this. So we're very hopeful that it's gonna go better and I think we're gonna wrap up this part of the teardown and call it a day. After taking a look inside the PS4 CUH 1200, it looks like Sony may have fixed a lot of the problems they had with the previous versions, and I'm hopeful that it's gonna do a little bit better. It looks like it's got a better HDMI port. It looks like it's gonna run quieter. I know for a fact that it runs a lot quieter here when we tested it playing Call of Duty 3. Um, it also looks like the APU clamp is gonna work a little bit better, hopefully. That we won't know until we um, get using it and start getting some of these in for repair and see what the problems are. Um, the optical drive I expect to be about the same. You know, there's gonna be some, uh, probably some issues with it um, since it hasn't been really uh, refreshed since the last one. But overall, I'm hopeful about this one and I think it's gonna work well, so if you're gonna um, be buying one this holiday season, then you should go definitely go ahead and try and get the CUH 1200 if you can find it. Uh, we had to get this off of Amazon because we couldn't find it anywhere locally, but I think by the, by the time Christmas comes around, there will probably be quite a few stores carrying these. Thanks again for watching, and now we've got to figure out how to put this thing back together.